God said, My angels are coming to push my people toward eternity. People of God, this is what I heard the Lord say when I woke up this morning. And now I want to make everyone aware of the urgency of this hour. The Lord is not delaying. He is moving swiftly and powerfully. When God says, My angels are coming to push my people toward eternity. He is speaking about the divine acceleration, a heavenly force that will propel His chosen ones toward fulfilling their destiny in preparation for eternal life. This is not just about achieving personal goals or dreams. It is about aligning your heart and actions with the will of God. Eternity is not some distant reality. It begins now. As we live in the light of His truth, with our eyes set on the things above. The angels of the Lord are being released to remove hindrances, open doors, and guide His people along paths of righteousness. They will work in ways both seen and unseen, shaking what needs to be shaken and stabilizing what needs to remain. But hear this, folks. Not everyone will recognize the push of the angels. For some, it will feel like discomfort. You may feel uprooted from familiar places or forced to let go of the things you once held dear. But this is the hand of God, making sure nothing distracts you from the eternal purpose He has for you. The Lord is calling His people to step out of complacency, to shed lukewarm faith, and to embrace the fiery passion of His Spirit. Beloved, this is not a season to resist the Spirit's prompting. Do not be afraid of the push. If you feel a stirring in your spirit, if circumstances around you are shifting ways you cannot control, it is because heaven is at work. God's angels are surrounding you, ministering to you, and paving the way for you to walk into your God-ordained purpose. Trust in the Lord, for His plans are good, and His ways are perfect. People of God, in the last of this message, I would say that eternity is closer than we think. Lord's angels are coming to gather the wheat into his barns and to separate the chaff. Will you be ready when he comes? Will your lamps be filled with oil? Or will you be found unprepared? Write down how will you respond when Jesus will return in the comment section. And I pray... May God bless you. Amen.